Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rune to episode 6 of Senio Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Jesus Christ, Cody. Yeah. Oh yeah, all we have is the little girl left. Hopefully she's in this episode, because technically we have all the girls for our group. And this is supposed to be when Nanako- yeah. Now I go to rebellious face. Did you hit your head, little dog? Oh my god. Rogo chan. Like, almost what, raccoon? <laughs> no, that's a bunny! Oh, okay, so it is a pig, but it looks like a bunny. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Recognizing Rebellion 1 <laughs> Recognizing Rebellion 2 <laughs> mm, You sure about that, Papa? Mm, not today, she won't <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. She's just tired. She tired. It's the weekend. No, 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 no. Because that's how I... No, no, I don't look like that in the mornings on the weekend. But see, we're so we're kids. We're so used to chocolate milk and chocolate milk or strawberry milk is good as fuck. The regular milk. <laughs> but it's not go, right? Yeah. So, oh, she got earplugs in. But she probably just left. <laughs> no, thank you. Exactly. When you were watering the flowers, she left. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, she's the, she's the teenager. Sometimes she maybe wants to have her clothes washed by her, like, themselves. There's no problem to, like, have that. It's not a rebellious phase thing. No. No. That is so gross. <laughs> yeah, so what the rabbit? Mm. She's so cute. Mm. Yeah. So you eat poop too? <laughs> that is a weird question. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> Dog friend. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hmm? Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> no, my girl's prepared. <laughs> Jesus. No, just friends. Yeah, she's got a mixer. Oh my God, will you stop worrying? She's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can do that. He loves Nanako way too much.
<laughs> You're not gonna last, old man. Oh, told you you wasn't going to last. She hasn't been home for like, what, 30 minutes or so? Like five seconds, all it took. Like I said, there's overprotective parents, and then there's Nanako's dad. Nanako's dad is, like, up there on the scale. He's, like, at the top, the point of the pyramid. Like, honestly. <laughs> because I've never seen, I've seen some overprotective parents, especially, like, when it comes to, um, not rebellious phase, more of, like, teaching your kids about sex because like there are some parents that like like to teach their kids at a very young age instead of waiting until they release um no not until like when did my school talk about like i think we talked about it like fifth sixth grade and i didn't get to talk until i was like in fourth grade kind of a little bit of third grade but i got it twice um it just depends on the parents because some people just want their kids to be um, hidden from certain things, and then that's how they're way too overprotective, and how sometimes the children become rebellious in their face and stuff. Because typically, it happens to all of us. I don't think I was really rebellious, I just have more of like attitudeness from my mom's side of the no, really from both sides of my parents. Because <laughs> I just am, but it's really weird because my parents always ask me, Cody, will you stop? Um, you know, where do I get that attitude from? And I'd be like, y'all, that's where I got it from. <laughs> but I mean, come on, her dad didn't even last like a second. Like he probably lasted, what, about like five seconds and be like, hey, daddy, here's a cake for you. I love you. Thanks for being a great dad. Take this cake. And then he's all like happy, sunshine, butterflies. <laughs> and I have to say, um, AG's rabbit it's very interesting because at first like the way it looked at first it looked like a rabbit from the picture and then when he said agu i was like okay that means pig so is it pig and then i was like no 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 that's a bunny like mm, come on man his sister is freaking adorable like oh my god like she's probably the mm, she's up there with what's her face's sister from uh quinta uh quint quintessential quintuplets because she's cute as hell and like uh, like, honestly, any anime that has a little brother or a little sister, they're always cute and adorable as hell. And I'm just like, oh my god, all I want to do is just cuddle him. Like, yes, you're so cute. But I love the fact that she asks Monica, like, hey, you my brother's girlfriend? <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> and then, like, but I mean, because like, when she was probably watching them, even though we really didn't get a scene of both Nana, we kind of got a scene of Nanako and Eiji talking and her kind of watching in the back. But, um, she was probably thinking in her head, like, yeah, they look like a really good couple. Because, honestly, like, everybody in this dang show is like, yes, they are, like, the most adorable couple, even though they're not a couple. But, come on. It, it's so obvious. Like, by the end of the series, they're gonna be a damn couple. But then she's like, oh, are you her, his mistress? But, like, how old are you and how do you know that word? That's what I wanted to know, like, dead ass. But, like, hold up. How old is this child? This child should not know what the word mistress is until she's like maybe 14, 13 maybe? Not even 13, maybe like 14, 15, or 16. That's when I think you need to know what that word is. But like, I mean, you know, she has a very good vocabulary for her age. <laughs> because of my age, I <laughs> I did not know that that word at her age. What um, whatever age she is, 
But, yes, good on her. She's just too adorable, and she knows her words. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to being towards episode 6 of Senryo Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchful Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially <laughs> next Friday for episode 7. Bye, guys.